What's up everyone, Mark Lobliner, CEO, MTS Nutrition, TigerFitness.com, also an Exos trainer. When you're walking around, you see those dudes like walking like this, like, oh my God, but they don't have lats. They don't have lats. We're gonna give you some lats right here. That's why I've come up top three movements that you're not doing for barn door lats. The kind you have to turn sideways to walk through airport security. That's what I'm talking about. So number one thing we're gonna do, you know I like to work that core. Because if you can work that core, you engage everything. Everything is tight, hard. Like when I talk dirty to you like that? So the first movement is an unsupported one-arm row. You see it where you lean up against the stack, lean up against the bench, we're not leaning at all, but we're still gonna activate every single muscle fiber in the lat. The second movement will be a negative pull-up, meaning you either jump up or you swing yourself up, whatever, but you get that negative nice and slow. How slow? As slow as you can possibly go. You do as many reps as you can, up to five reps, but you make sure that that negative is as slow as possible. Number three, will be one, I'm gonna give a shout out to my man, John Meadows, the Meadows row. You'll need a T-bar row here, or you can even do it with a barbell in the corner, using it like a landmine, pulling it up, and I will demonstrate that, you're gonna love it. The rep scheme for this, we're gonna keep it three to four sets. Now for the unsupported one arm row, you're gonna do between eight and 15 reps, depending on whether it's the first or third set, cause you can ascend in weight, meaning that if you warm up, with a set of 70 pounds for 15 reps on each arm. You then move up to 100, 100 pounds for 12 reps on each arm. And the last set, if it's really heavy, you do eight reps, okay, each arm. For the, for the negative pull-up, basically, you know what? You're essentially going to failure when you can't do another one because that will exhaust your lats. The third one, you're already exhausted. You really target it and get that Meadows row and that'll really finish off your lats. And that's how you build a barn door back. Now, for any back movement, I know a lot of you purists, you power lifters, like grip strength matters, and I agree, grip strength matters. But for me at least, being I'm a heavy individual, especially for a movement like the negative pull-up, my grip will never equal the strength or the endurance of my back. So for that, I recommend Versa Grips. We sell these at tigerfitness.com. I recommend getting the Pro. It's a little bit longer, and it just fits a little bit better on me because I've used both the Classic and the Pro. Now what you do with these, you put them on, the end of the Velcro, this part facing on the thumb, pull them over, you strap it in. Now with straps, you have a whole issue of getting it in there, it takes time, it's a pain in the butt. With these, not only do they last longer, they have very, very, very low chance of ripping, which I've done with straps with heavy weight. You take this, put it underneath the dumbbell, Grab it, cinch it in. Versa grips will make your back workout better. It's a fixed variable and honestly, this pair has been through hell and back with me. I've had these for over a year and a half, two years, and they're still rocking strong. The unsupported one arm row, now you've seen it done where people step in here, they do this and they row up. And that's perfectly fine. But we're doing some weird stuff here. We want to engage as much core as possible and fire off as many back muscles as possible while getting the lats, okay? So this is gonna be awesome, watch this. The key to this is linear. So you wanna be completely straight in a line. You're like this. Your balance is on point, feet are about shoulder width, maybe a little less apart. You got your base, your glutes are activated, you are firing your glutes, meaning you're tightening your butt. Okay, let's just put that in layman's terms. Grab the dumbbell, set your balance and row. You want your head, your spine in a neutral position. So pretend you're looking at an object about 10 feet in front of you on the floor. Row up, come down. Boom. Boom. So you're gonna do six to eight per side. Actually, eight to 15. Heavy sets, you go a little lighter. So if you watch this, you come in. Now you're not bringing your weight up here. You're coming in, you're bringing it back. So you want right in your pocket area. Hip socket, pocket, somewhere in there. Boom, up, up. 
And if you notice, your core is gonna be tight, your glutes are firing, and you're gonna feel it in your lats more than a regular one arm row. Since this is a negative, I'm not worried about the concentric, which is the pulling up part. I'm worried about the going down part. It's all about going down, fellas. So what I do is I put a step, that way I'm at a level where I can actually grab the apparatus and I can jump up, get my position, then lower down as slow as humanly possible to target these lats. <clears throat> The Meadows row is something I learned from my good friend John Meadows. It's like a one arm row, except you have a different grip, okay? You're actually, your wrist is gonna be facing this way rather than neutral, okay? So if you're using a T-bar row apparatus, which at the Tiger Fitness Gym, located in Loveland, Ohio, which you're more than welcome to come visit, um, you come here, you get your stance. He actually supports, he recommends supporting your arm on your leg, grab the end of the, Apparatus, come up, row, row. You get a nice squeeze in the lat, one of the best lat movements you will ever do. This is one thing that you can do if you don't have a T-bar row in your gym, but you still wanna do this, this workout. This is a Meadows row, but basically we hacked it a little bit. One thing I recommend if you are setting up a ghetto landmine in the corner, always put a dumbbell here. The reason being one time, I was doing a T-bar row, and I had two hand, I had the handle right here, I pulled it up, it has six plates on the front, right? Six 45 pound plates. I pulled it up around rep two. The back end flipped up, smacked me right in the taint. I'm trying to protect your taint here, kids. So what we're gonna do here, same stance as we did before, arm stable, grab the end of the bar, pull up, row. Pull up, row, up, boom. Nice squeeze, just like the other way. 